This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is also brought to you by Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Vinny's Car Wash and Oil Change, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, Imco, and by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana for another week this week's a lot of news. Uh, in the past week, we got a lot of term reports. Some we're going to be able to give to you. Others, we waiting. Uh, the big tournament at Rayburn with the high school guys, Tommy had promised to come, but he, he'd been there the whole weekend at, at Rayburn. So he sent me some stuff in the paper. I might give a shout out and read some of it to you that he sent, but uh, he's going to do it justice. In a few weeks, he's going to be here. Uh, in fact, in the next couple of weeks, uh, we're probably going to have uh, J.B. Salters. He also gave us a report, a Sackley tournament they had in Lake Verrett. Uh, Jason and Bryce sent us a report from Darbone, another tournament, and fishing report from Toledo Bend. So, we got a lot of reports coming in from slot area. We got speckled trout biting everywhere. Uh, we'll have that fishing report. And the main thing I told you right now, we're going to be fishing report. And uh, we'll see. I might have a surprise for you coming on later in the month of June. So we'll talk about it then. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Old School Barbecue and Pelican Sports TV. asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? As members of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we've all got a job to do. And the more we work together, the more we save. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Okay, guys, this might be the most red, red fish I've just about ever seen. Look how gold that dude is. Talk about beautiful. That looks like a legitimate goldfish. I don't know how it's showing up on the camera, but that thing is orange as orange gets. Starting off the morning, fishing a rock jetty. It is, as you can see, slick as a baby's behind out here so it's a friday also so these that, those bridges are going to be out of hand we're probably going to stay away from them i don't know where to where we're going to end up today but we're going to do some fishing in some places that typically don't get too much boat pressure 
try some stuff out on this beautiful, beautiful Friday morning. Fish, be it so be it going right up on the end of this rock jetty here and uh that's two in a row guys on the old matrix shad Let's see if this one measures there we go baby that sucker choked that matrix shad down that. That's what you want to see. You want to see them inhaling. And this is more or less what we're looking for right now is these nice springtime speckled trout. Early summer, late spring. But started off the morning with a couple nice reds. Now we're moving on to the trout. Hopefully this beautiful day that we have right here is going to turn into a good one. Right, as you watch this red come in, you can kind of see the current coming off of this point. You got the danger sign right there in front of it. You know, that way the boats don't run it over. But it's flowing pretty good, coming down the rocks and then the rocks in. And you can kind of see it breaking on the pollen. And that's what fish will do is they'll set on the edge of jetties like that and they'll let the current break around it and they'll set up for, uh, a good ambush spot to hammer our lures here like this shrimp creole matrix shad which we're using today on a 5 16 golden eye jig head it's only about six foot deep if that so it's kind of a shallow water spot for this estuary and sometimes it's reds on these rocks sometimes it's trout today it's a little bit of both but mostly redfish kind of like a trout head shake but i don't think it was Let's make sure here Gotta be a red. Oh, -hoo -hoo, I told you I sounded like a trout head shake, baby. Them head shakes on a trout, it's a <clears throat> distinguished volume. Look at that puppy. What you think, pups? That's what we call a good one. That's what we call a good one. Uh, you know, I've been catching them reds kind of back to back, and it felt like the same weight, but I heard that head shake when that water broke the surface and and that's why they call them yellow mouths I just I know that sounds so so well that's a solid chunk right there guys that's what we are looking for let's get a quick picture and right now they're mixed up reds and trout I'm just kind of throwing it off that point doing a poncha train pop Coming right around that pollen, we're throwing left of the pole, right of the pole. If you throw in there too tight, you're gonna snag the submerged rock. So you kind of gotta, you know, just feel it out and see where those, uh, see where those rocks end. Broke my rod. This fish has given us fits. So, if you're wondering about the rig I'm using, it's not the old lure to the cork rig. This was simply Sam who threw a cork when we first got here, had this redfish on, broke the line. Then we saw the cork floating. I cast it on it, caught it, go to flip, and then I, you know, I caught it here and then reeled it in, go to flip it, breaks the rod. So, that fish gave us more than we handle. We probably, this one, we probably should have left alone, but we got him finally. I don't know if it was worth all that expense, but we'll take it. I wish I didn't break the pole, but it is what it is. All right, so broke my old baby. That's the old original rod that was custom made by a good friend of mine i've been using for years and years and years so now i got the spinning reel got the popping cork bag look at this log we got here guys 
I mean, this is a this is a loggerhead. Come on up. Ooh, woo. But let me show y'all this fish. Give you a quick look at that big log eating that shrimp creole TKO. I love that lure under a cord. We're gonna do a slight pause. So for all the remembrance of that rod, it just broke. That rod's been with me for almost 10 years. Been the most durable, my favorite rod of all time. It just broke on me when we caught that, you know, we went and got our redfish back that broke our line. And that is the rod that we based the new matrix rod off of. So you could basically call that the prototype of the, um, the new matrix rod that we have. I've yet to break a matrix rod yet, but that one, just cause it broke today, trust me, that happens. That rod has been in the family for almost 10 years and I've been using it almost every day. But today is the last day, but look at that beauty right there. Got, the, got that on the matrix spinning rod, seven footer. And under the matrix float, Beautiful fish. There he is. This feels like a red. But we have caught some really nice trout. We have caught some really nice trout. What we got? What we got? Come on up. Oh yeah, red fish. So, we haven't been here long at all. Almost got a limit of reds. Got some hammer trout. Broke a rod. Broke a line, recaught the fish because we saw the court come up. It is only 7.14 in the morning. All of that's happened. We're gonna go ahead and end this episode of Dockside TV by 7.14 in the morning, catching all these fish. It's been a fabulous morning. And we're gonna just go play around and scout some other areas, see what's going on out here. But. As you saw the products of choice today. For generations, anglers from across the globe have put their trust in Abu Garcia. Because out here on the water, we know our science is your religion. Fish like a fanatic with the latest generation of Revo. Featuring up to 24 pounds of max drag. Designed for leverage and power. Built on corrosion resistance and comfort. World-class adventure awaits with Revo, Abu Garcia for life. Uh, but then we'll give you some of these reports that are coming from Bryce Knight. And uh, he said that this is the Granada results of Pelican Crappy Club. Uh, and since they stopped three, first place was Gage and Rick Reap. Second place was Dustin Shields. Third place was Tommy Sawyers and Bobby Jackson. Fourth place was R.J. Jack Hargett. And fifth place was Thomas Jackson and Troy Garrett. Big fish was Greg and Rick Reap. So there's some, some pictures to go along with it, but uh, another great tournament, and thanks to Bryce on that one. Uh, I, I'm going I'm to go right now.
to uh, uh, it's a it's a woman designed Bill Fish and Rodeo and my good buddy that's over there he used to be one of my correspondents and gave me a report. He sent me a little report. Uh, the the Woodward designed Bill Fish report. It, it went said he fished a trussel. He fished his 6.30 fished on the north side, and he had no bite. He fished all over, and he finally got on some fish. And uh, he sent me a picture, and then and I'm going to send it to y'all, and y'all can see it. Uh, I, I, what else I can tell you, he, he used to send me reports all the time. He'd been real busy, but uh, this is him fishing his a tournament, and, uh, and he had his trophy. He had big trout. Too good, and that's, I'm trying to think of his name, boy, I didn't rule blank. <laughs> it is crazy right now, Mr. I can't even remember the name right now. Ain't that terrible? See what happens when you're taking too much medicine, huh? Let, let me look and see what else I got. Uh, the Lake Verrett Showdown, and that's coming from uh, J.B. Salters and Glenn. Uh, Glenn Automotive and all the rest of them have been there. So, Tom, I'm going to tell you right now, the Lake Verrett, they, they hammered the fish, especially early. Later on, they got it. They, they held them up a while because they were waiting on storms to ball through, but when they blew through, it was just unbelievable. Uh, first place was Tim Abey and Andre Smith with 10 pounds. 04 second was Dustin Boudreaux and Caleb at 9.88. Third was Ty Barbier and, and Dylan. And fourth was Glenn David and Chance. The big fish was Ty Dylan, 1.80. He sent some pictures and sent some other reports. Food was outstanding thanks to all them boys that cooked. Had a good crowd show up. Uh, the weather hit them early and got out of there. And it was amazing. The weather was bad early. That's when all the fish was caught. So thank you again, J.B. Salters and Glenn, for sending me them report. Uh, let, let me see what else I got right here. Uh, I got some news reports. Uh, let me report on this. I, it, it, it might be already be over. They're going to hold an informational uh, on Creel on May 22nd at the Wildlife and Fisheries. So y'all going to miss it. It's be on a Wednesday. Uh, y'all going to miss it. But I was just telling you, y'all need to sort of get on their website and put your opinions in. They're talking about Creel limits. And uh, a lot of that can be coming down now. Uh, we got Safe Boating Week. Uh, I guess Saturday is starting to say both in week in Louisiana across America with Memorial Day weekend next weekend kicks off the start of the boat and safety week. Don't forget that and remember to be safe on the water. Uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm looking, let me see something. Uh, I tell you what, I'm going to come back with this, one more news item and I'm going to give you the Berkeley I'm going to stay fishing for it. Stay tuned for more Paradise for Weekend.
As members of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we've all got a job to do. And the more we work together, the more we save. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? New Berkeley Fireline Ultra 8. It's rounder, smoother, and four times more abrasion resistant than original Fireline. Expect 10% longer casts and superb knot strength. And you thought Fireline could get any better. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and some more of the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fish Report. You know, I'm going to start off with the Sacolade reports coming from Darbone. I'm going to have to read this because I can't, uh, can't get everything done. He said, the crappie is starting to bunch up on a deep brush in Darbone now. That's over there with Bryce Knight. And that. Catfish are good in the flats. Catfish have been good everywhere. The brim is starting to bed up. Same thing is happening in Barrette. Uh, bass are showing some schooling activity and are hitting good, and some of that's on top water. That comes from Bruce Knight. Now, uh, to find out more of this, uh, I was trying to look. Now, also, the Toledo Bend reports have been good. They've been, they fish in brush piles, but a lot of them been fishing shallow water and where they're found in grass. So, but all you need to do is go to Lake Country, and all those captains and those guides and stuff are putting their reports on Lake Country. You can look it up, what's coming up, water stages. You go to the Lake Country and do it yourself. Same way I tell you all about these reports I'm getting. Some of the better reports I'm getting, I just can't carry them over because I do have captains giving me reports but anytime you go on Facebook you can find reports from everywhere uh, Captain Charlie all them ones all them ones down in, in Venice the Carters uh, you you name them they are their reports are there with pictures and uh and they ain't been hiding anything. Some of them captains don't do it. Some of them captains who send me have quit. And I want to encourage you to do them. It can't hurt you. Can't hurt your business. Can't hurt your people. And people like to see their stuff in there now. Uh, I told you we got a lot of, lot of the fish being caught in Lake Barrette right now. And I'm talking about big fish. The spillway is uh, coming up. I'm getting no reports about the spillway coming up. It's coming up leaps and bounds. They're still getting rain up north. They're getting tornadoes. So uh, right now, I'm going to stay away from that. Slide out for bass. Crappie. Fishing in with, uh, all the sloughs and stuff around there. Slide out still the number one place. Mike Brantley, Perry Barres was the name I was trying to give you. He won that tournament over there. Perry used to give me a report. He got his own website, and they're doing it. Daphne, you know Chaz. Chaz got new information every week, where, how, when. You just can't beat it. Uh, you can look at him at Dockside TV. You, you just can't go wrong. 
Mike Gallo and all them things, they still got a few openings, especially coming up in June. Dudley Vanderbilt, these are legendary guys that are still catching fish. I can name them all. In Delacroix, Sweetwater, uh, the Lennons, my friend Tom LeBlanc and them, well, they've been out of town and come back. They've been on vacation. Uh, he sent me something. He had a little bad luck on vacation. But when they sent it to me, I forwarded it to Chris and to Brendan. It does our, our social media. So you can find all the information there, or you can send it direct to them. Don't forget, email me, Gary, lowercase, at Paradise, Louisiana, spelled out, dot com, lowercase. And uh, I will do my best to get it on. If you do it early before Sunday night, because sometimes we're going to be taping on Sunday night. Monday morning is usually the normal time. I'll get it on, and uh, I appreciate it. Your kids, if you show their pictures, you got a good photo, they're going to appreciate it too. Let me run over this one more time. Uh, Chris Williams sent me a picture. Uh, Ronnie Broussard sent me one from Lake Rosemount. Now, Lake Rosemount is usually a private. It's private all the way. Again, Lake Barrette, Toledo Bend, a very hot. Lake Darbone is, is in transition. Uh, we got some when the water's going up and down. Uh, you can call any of them. You can call some of them marinas I was telling you about. Uh, what you call it, Slabs Unlimited, or at Brendan and them. These people will give you the report. So I'm going to check one more time. Lake Catherine, unbelievable. Bob Woods, who works out of there and fishes out of there, he did good. You can call Angie and David. They'll give you all the report. You can call the point. That's where Mike Brandley and Daddy and all them fish out of. Uh, Captain Chris, all them captains over there, great with information. St still keep following Louisiana. In the next couple of weeks, we might have to shoot two toes at once because I might be making a trip to Cozumel. I might be going bone fishing. So say a prayer. Say it comes through, and we'll see y'all. See y'all next week, Paradise, Louisiana. One more time. Thank you for Alan over here, Pelican Studios, and thanks to Marty. Marty, you do a great job. Get it all in, brother. Thank you. We'll see y'all later. Paradise, Louisiana is also brought to you by Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Vinny's Car Wash and Oil Change, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, Imco, and by Farm Bureau Insurance.